This week in history, 120 years ago, city officials planned to welcome 1904 with a New Year's good deed, and it did not, for them, go unpunished. They had booked the old Coliseum to host a free banquet and sweater giveaway for the city's newsboys. Like other big cities, St. Louis had a lot of newsboys hawking papers on the street corners. Some might have been helping out at home and going to school, but many others were street kids and street smart. The chance for a free meal drew thousands to the banquet that was set up on the floor of the old Coliseum. Mayor Rolla Wells was there, as was David R. Francis, who was working to open the World's Fair in just a few months. The year before, Francis hosted Teddy Roosevelt and Grover Cleveland, but dinner with these guests? That would be a very different experience. The hosts, I think, were expecting something like this, and they were ready with welcoming and encouraging remarks. But reports said the Newsies went straight for the food, many starting out with a piece of pie. And when they had their fill, paper plates started flying through the air. And then there was a mad scramble to the free sweaters, and then to the exits. Now, street kids and child labor, these were serious problems in the city. These photos began to expose the issues a few years later. But in 1904, the newspapers just had fun with all of this. They had cartoons depicting the banquet guests and articles, supposedly first-person accounts, written by newsies named Swipesy McGinty and Pinky Pete, supposedly quoted as saying, we seen long rows of tables and every blame foot of them covered with eaten goods and this is heaven. Police and city officials just never got things under control, and one scheduled speaker said it was useless to even try to make a speech. One alleged quote from a newsy reads, what hell do we want of hot air? We wants to feed and the sweaters, that's what we want. Then we all commences to make our getaway. Well, the newsboys got fed, they got a sweater, and they got back out to the streets leaving behind quite a cleanup and plenty of unused speeches about becoming good citizens. That was 1904, this week in St. Louis history.